Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have some Abus 5540s, and this is new old stock. I don't think they generally make these anymore. Uh, the plastic is sort of failing on this. Uh, it's clearly still molded around the padlocks. They haven't been removed, but uh, just by the nature of being in here, that plastic has failed. Now you might think, why did I buy a standard basic Abus 4? out of 10 security set of padlocks. Um, and that's because they are one of the few padlocks I think can be exploited in Europe at least by a comb picking technique. And the sort of channel that I am means that um, I do like to have locks which show um, certain techniques. So this is a comb pick. I think that it would be this one if it does work and it might not. Uh, so bear with me because it's got to be the exact right spacing and this lock here might just not be that exact right spacing. I do have um, the other side of this comb which could work. I don't think it will though. Oh, uh, that feels like it's almost there but not quite. Let's give that another go. Now basically, the way to measure it up is by looking at the key and seeing whether the spacing on the comb fits. And that looks like it might. So let's try it again. More, hard to get around that warding, but I think we might have it. So, uh, yeah, we got it. So it is actually the smaller side of this comb. It does work. It's a bit of a fiddle. Um, so yeah. This is one of the few of the Abuses which this works on, a lot of them on one stone. Now I've shown this lock off before, but this is its bigger brother. Here we go, the 6550. And this again can be combed, I believe. I think it's this one, a little bit tricky to get the comb around the warding um, because these are quite hefty comb picks, but we can get there. Just takes a little bit of wriggling. You don't put too much strain on these uh, these comb picks either because uh, you know they can snap. And once you get them in, there we go. We got that open too. So it takes a. It's a bit tricky, but yeah, uh, these are the models Vabus which you can comb pick, and they all end with a five. So the fifty-five and the sixty-five, not the fifty-fifty and the fifty-forties. Or the 65, uh, yeah, the, yeah, the 60 and 50 40s, uh, they don't work, but these ones do. I do feel that we should give this 40 mil one a bit of a chance and give it a bit of a picking. I haven't even tried to use the key with it yet. Let's have a, a go with the key. Oh, that's definitely some old sticky tape, isn't it? Get rid of that. Um, let's give that a bit of a go. <laughs> I, do you know what? I won't edit that out. You can just uh, tell me I'm an idiot in my um, in my comments, but yeah, well, that's a bit stiff. Is oh, that's why all that over the years. Look, that sticky tape has uh, has left all the sticky on the key. I feel we should give this lock a bit of a pick, though. We are a lock picking channel, not a bypassing channel. It just feels like um, like we haven't got as much fun out of this lock as we could do. So let's go in pick pin number one, which is binding first. And just look how high up we have to pick this pin and look what happens when we do. So it feels picked, but a bit more, a bit more, and there into a false set. So I think that something definitely is going on there. Uh, pin, let's have a look at the back here, pin three here. So, oh, nice, pin four at the back now. Cancer rotation, cancer rotation, and we are open. Surprisingly difficult to pick despite the big keyway because the bitting means that you have to pick the pins all the way to the top. Definitely got some spool pins in there and look at the bitting of the key. You've got like a max cut either side of um, almost a zero lift in pin position two, which means you have to use quite a deep hook to be able to reach up to pick these pins without fouling uh, that second pin and causing an overset. So yeah, um, quite odd. Not a bad internals to 
a lock which is so, so easily bypassed. Well, I suppose that's just the way it is. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you've got any comments about this lock, then please leave them below. I do read them all and reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to do so. And of course, I will see you all next time.